Nothing better than pregame festivities for the World Series. Game three is coming up next. We're here in Seattle. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the Milwaukee Brewers taking on the Seattle Mariners. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. We're looking forward to what's sure to be a dramatic Game 3, Chris. Well, when a team starts a series on the road and comes away with a split in the first two games, they've essentially taken over home field advantage. So the last thing these guys want to do now is give it right back by dropping this one. And these fans know that just as much as the players. And, now, and the atmosphere here is electric. And this figures to be Seattle. about as intense as postseason baseball gets. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Now it's the power speed combo. Jay Mack. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. Here we go. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Well, when you come off a tough one-run loss in the postseason, you'll be looking back at the opportunities that you missed in the previous game and make sure that you don't miss them in this one. Line drive, base hit. And they're happy to play station to station right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. Well, that was an important at-bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Got a breaking ball on the outside part of the plate. Not a bad pitch, but he wasn't fooled or off balance. Stayed on the backside nicely and really just let that thing travel and squared it up. Now a huge at-bat in this game coming up. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. pitch and a foul ball he stays alive they need a strikeout and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up something but you've got to make some pitches but if he can battle and get through this he can earn some points Belton fires. Outside corner got him looking. He can't believe it. He's got to throw any pitch in any count. 3 2. He goes off speed, gets the out. Andrew Vaughn now. And he deals. This one popped up. And the infield fly rule call. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning, and it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Amador on third. Perez on second. Mack on at first with two down. So now one and two. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Hey, Left-hand hitter waits. On the ground. Anderson picks it up, zips it across, and that'll do it. Brewers leave them loaded, so now the Mariners offense gets to go to work for the first time. We've got no score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. One gone runner at first. Next for the Brewers, Jay Mack. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. All right, one time, right here. Let's go, big dog. That one is absolutely belted. On its way. And it's gone. Home run. 
His second home run of the series, and they grab the lead. It's 2-0. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working. Now it's going to be Jay Mack. He's already homered in this game. Hey, let it fly. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. Swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. On to first. One away here in the fifth. Now batting the third baseman. So up next, Jay Mack. The switch hitter batting right. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. That's the third. What a stop. And very nicely done for the out. Game threes are very critical when you have a series tied at one and one because you put yourself up. Anytime you go down, you're always chasing. When you're up in the series, you feel like you're in the driver's seat. Nice win today. Not a ton of offense to chat about as we look at the final numbers, but this was a good one. Yeah, it was a low-scoring game, Boog, but sometimes those can be the best, especially this time of year. 3-2 the final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew. I'm John Chambi saying so long from T-Mobile Park in Seattle.